Well, Graham, uh, a huge game, obviously, for Gala, a huge game for Melrose as well. It's all going to come down, not just physically, but mentally as well. Yeah, obviously, it's, uh, it's, it's who kind of deals with the pressure the best that'll, that'll uh, go on and win the title. And obviously, it's still in Gala's hands. You know, they know if they win the game, no matter what happens uh, at the Green Yards on Saturday, it's, it's their title. And we're just going out to look and, and, and try and win our game. Um, and, and, and whatever happens at Netherdale happens. We can't do much about that. You mentioned experience, of course, and uh, in terms of experience, Melrose have been in these positions a lot more than Gala. Yeah, we have in recent times, but no, come Saturday, that might not mean mean anything. Obviously, we've had a couple of games down here, having to win, you know, win the games to win the league, and we've we, we've done that. Um, you know, the first year we won the league, um, we played air down here, you no, know, basically a winner takes all game, and we won that one. Um, but uh, again, Gala know what's at stake on Saturday, and. They'll, you know, they'll not leave anything out in the pitch. They'll give absolutely everything to try and, to try and win the game and, and, and win the Premiership. Now, you're playing Curry down here, and uh, they're unbeaten in the league in eight games. Yeah, it's, it's always the same with Curry. They always seem to come good, you know, after Christmas. And once again, they've got the right guys fit at the right time with a few uh, a few pros in there to bolster their squad. And they'll be very strong, very confident. You know, you win, you win seven games and draw one in the last eight, they're going to be, they're going to be on, on top form. So, uh, yeah, we'll have our work cut out to, to beat them on Saturday. So what about the Melrose team? Presumably you've got your under-20s back, Damien and, uh, and Blair. Yeah, Damien and Blair and, and Lewis Carmichael are, are all back in the squad. Um, so they've, they're, they're fresh, you know, they've had a bit of time off since Friday night games, so they'll be raring to go again come Saturday. And uh, Yeah, apart from our obviously club captain Fraser Thompson being out injured, I think we're pretty much full strength for Saturday. So the team itself and uh, obviously the mentality going into this game, in a way the pressure's off. It is off uh, to a certain extent because we know, you know, we just have to win the game. But at the same time, we lose the game. Doesn't matter what happens at Gala. So, in that respect, there is a bit of pressure. You know, we still have to go out and win this game of rugby. And if we don't, then Gala can still afford to lose and and, and win the league. And we'll really kick ourselves if that happens. You know, if we don't win our game, it's not putting much pressure on them. Have you ever been down to the wire like this? Because it's one point in points difference between the two teams, two points obviously in league points, and the permutations, there's something like 11 different permutations. Yeah, it's, it's, I'm just really pleased that it's, it's, it's two border clubs we're talking about and it's not you know, up the road or across in Glasgow. And uh, the fact that it's two border clubs you know, hitting it out very, very close in the league, very, very close on points difference, it's only good for the region. And you know, one of us is going to win the title on Saturday and it's going to, the Premiership Cup's going to be in the borders for another year, which is, which is great for the, for, for the region, but obviously it would be better if it was in our hands.